iOS 13 official has been released and you're gonna freaking love this. Let me explain why in this video. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iOS 13, this is the official. I took a screenshot because I was too excited to go ahead and wait to make the video and update it live. So I just updated, you could see 2.28 gigabytes here for the iPhone XS. Before you say that's not a XS, that is an iPhone 10, Nick. Don't you kid me around these parts. Let's go into settings. You can see live wallpapers. Those are the XS wallpaper. So back in the settings, let's go to general. We're going to go to about and we're going to see which version we are on right here for this phone. So if I go to software version, you can see iOS 13, 17, a 577. So this guy right here is the official version. Okay, guys. So in this video, I'm going to cover 10 of my favorite features that I think you will love as well. Now, also, I want to talk about the first thing I'm really excited for the 6s, 6s plus, as well as se users are getting this update so if you bought a phone way back in 2015 you are still getting an update today so check your device for that update okay so let's get the most obvious feature out of the way first that is the dark mode coming to ios 13 across the board and pretty much every apple based application that is on the phone now this is a huge update because you know at nighttime the screen is really bright yeah we had true tone yeah we had night shift but now we're able to see things a lot darker than ever before and it's always a welcome addition you can access this simply by hitting dark mode up here you can also add dark mode to the toggles here in your customized control settings so if we go over here and we go to control center you can see customized control and you could go over here and add dark mode right there for easy access to that mode so definitely a welcome addition to the official ios 13. okay so the next thing you're really gonna love is the all new photos app so everything looks a little bit different you now have months all photos years and you have these like nice little icons down here that say photos for you album search but one thing i really enjoy about this new update is if we go to edit here you can see that there's plenty of new editing options and it just looks very clean tons of tools here now to edit your photo enhance these photos a little bit more right on your iphone itself so this is a big update in my personal opinion i think you're really gonna love this okay so the next thing you're really gonna love about ios 13 is this new sign in with apple button so just like with an android phone you could put sign in with google well now you can do this with apple and it's going to be a lot more secure according to them you know they're going to have their encryption and all that you know good security stuff that apple is known for with this sign in with apple so this is a great feature in addition to ios 13. so you're also going to love the new updates that come to the reminders application you can see welcome to reminders it's a completely redesigned application it also has quick creation and easy organization tools with the new smart list so we'll show you that in a second so you can see right here automatically a very different ui a very different look we have today scheduled all and then daily and new reminder and homework now we can add lists here and we could change the colors how we want as well now if i go into new reminder you're going to see iphone review right there if i hit new reminder right here i can just quickly create one so i think that this gets a nice overhaul you can see name and appearance add people add reminders it gets a nice overhaul to the whole reminders application and i think it's something that if you haven't used it before you actually might enjoy using the reminders application now Brian was 13. Now the next one further separates Apple once again with their Memoji stickers here and iOS 13. So down here, you can see this little guy right here. This is gonna be the Memoji stickers. Now, I actually created these already before. You can see that's me with the glasses and there's just plenty here to work with. Now also, you can create different faces. In addition to that, you have the Animojis. Now, this just takes iMessage again to another level when it comes to a communication tool. It's just something that further separates the messaging platform here again on Apple. So they're just building on their lead in this department and you know iMessage is always a strong seller for the ios platform and it gets even better here so this one i think you're absolutely gonna love here in ios 13 if you do uh, communicate a lot through text messages okay so the next thing you're gonna love about the ios 13 update is safari now safari gets kind of a full web browser on ipad os but here on iphone it also changes up a bit you can hide the toolbar 
like so. You can bring it back just by tapping there. The reader view, everything is kind of cleaner off to the left. But one of the biggest new updates here to 13, I think you're gonna love, is a new download manager, which makes your phone seem more like a laptop or like a computer when it comes to downloading things. So we're on Unsplash, a copyright free uh, photo website. If we go ahead and hit download, you can see it gives you a prompt. And right here we have a download manager, which is a lot similar to like a laptop or a Mac or something. So that's a really nice update. And I think you will love this in iOS 13. So the next one is swipe texting. It's called quick path here for Apple, but you go, Hey, what? Oh, I messed up already. Hey, what is up? This is the, this is the iPhone. Now it's built right into iOS's keyboard. So no longer need to download the Gboard. You don't need to download the swipe keyboard, nothing like that. No third party things. It's built right in to the Apple keyboard. And of course you still have traditional texting. So if you never want to use it, you don't have to, but it's there. So the next reason you're absolutely going to love iOS 13 here is the ability to recognize SD cards and you know hard drives as well you can rec recognize wd hard drives western digital uh, some ssds should work as well if we go into the lightning port right here now typically in the past it would just pop in the photos but here now in ios 13 it'll recognize this baby right in my browse section so if i go to browse right here let me go to browse excuse me you'll see right here Lumix. So this is my Lumix SD card and you can see right there. Now I can play with my files and everything nice and easy like I was able to do on Android before just with a little adapter. So you can get a lot of functionality done with this you know, new ability to read these things. And I've been wanting this on iOS forever. So if you're a mobile editor, if you're somebody who edits photos and videos on the go, this is basically all you need with your camera and you're good to go. So thumbs up there for iOS 13. I think if you use this, you're gonna love it. The next one is just general speed improvements to the operating system. This thing just flies and Apple did improve the animation speeds here for iOS 13. I mean, it's incredible. The amount of speed that you're getting here and now is even better than before. And I gotta say, I, I'm just super impressed with this phone. It's just incredible with the speed. So especially on this official version, it's even faster than the beta thumbs up. I mean, I'm very happy to see that Apple didn't just keep their old animations. They made them faster here for 13. So speedheads, people that love that speed, watching the speed test on the Nick Ackerman channel, it's going to be a tough battle this year for some of these Android phones as Apple has increased the speed once again on iOS 13. So that was like 10 things that, you know, I think you're really going to love about iOS 13 here on your device. Now, a couple other things that change, the controls look different when you do haptic press. Also, when you do the silent switch, you can see it moved off to the top, very clean right there. The volume controls off to the left. These are system improvements that make a real difference in you know not annoying the user being a big box in the middle of the display. So huge update here to 13. I think you will love that as well. And some other changes include four new wallpapers right here to the system and they are dynamic with dark mode. So they will get darker if you do enable dark mode. Now these other wallpapers are not dynamic. So if you set them and you turn on dark mode, they won't switch. Only these ones with the little dark mode, light mode icon at the bottom of them. So four new wallpapers right there. Also, if we go into our control center right here, you can now go ahead and get to your Bluetooth toggles really quickly just by force pressing right there. In addition, same with the Wi-Fi. You can go through your Wi-Fi settings right there. So I gotta say that this is just a really nice update to the system. And I think you're gonna enjoy having this on your iPhone. These little tweaks just make everything a better experience. In addition, they added the shortcuts icon right to iOS 13. You don't have to download it anymore, which can give you some good shortcuts. Find my keys, you can create new ones. And they also have a gallery of things they think that you might wanna do. So there are some suggestions right there as well to help you out if you don't know what you're gonna do with the shortcuts app. So there are also improvements to Apple Health, including cycle tracking for menstrual cycling if you're a woman. Also summary, you have a new summary view. So Apple Health gets updates. The Apple Notes also gets updates to a gallery view. I'm not gonna go in there right now because I got some personal information in there, but new checklist options as well. And Apple Mail gets some updates, the ability to mute threads as well as block sender. And there's one major feature here in iOS 13, which I think you're absolutely gonna love. How many times have people been calling you, bugging you? If you go in the phone settings, I got the SIM in right now, you can silence unknown callers here. So all those numbers that call you 
on iOS 13 that are not in your context. You do not know they're disturbing your day collectors you know you know what i'm talking about block them you can do it here in the phone settings on 13. So here's another neat little trick to ios 13. they have a full page screenshot now so if we go ahead and we take that screenshot let's go over here you're gonna see full page now it will go all the way down and screenshot the entire page you can also write on this page and uh highlight annotate things things like that now this is going to be great for ipads for students in class who need to take some research and they need to highlight things from an internet page and they don't want separate screenshots or anybody just trying to get some notes so there you go a full page screenshot you can also see more little tweaks to the pens they look a little bit different the color wheel is right there everything is just it's just overall refined. Everything looks a little bit tweaked, a little bit better. Those are a lot of the features I think you're gonna love. I missed a few though. So in camera, if we go to portrait mode, you can see that we do have the ability to do a high key light mono right here. We can also tweak the lighting right there by clicking that button and making different lighting in the portrait. So you can change the lighting in your portrait. So if you really like portrait photography, which Apple seems to think a lot of people do, then you'll be able to go ahead and tweak that. Now Siri also gets a more natural voice. Hey, how you doing today? I'm good. Everything is copacetic. Yeah, so she's supposed to sound a little bit more realistic. She plays more with radio stations now. Actually over 100,000 radio stations are available with Siri. In addition, there's feature upgrades to CarPlay. There's a new voice control application. There's a new voice control mode that's going to be really helpful to people that are hard of hearing. Uh, man, I mean, there's just so much in here. Find my combines, find my friends and find my iPhone right into one application. I mean, there's just so much to learn. There's so much things to do. I think you're just going to absolutely uh, find features in here that you didn't know even existed probably a couple weeks later. In addition, Apple Music has upgrades to seeing your sound lyrics, which a lot of other streaming service have done. But now you can see the lyrics as you use your iPhone. Apple Maps also gets a big update to a new 3D imagery, kind of like the Street View in Google Street View. So that's going to be really cool stuff. Favorites and collections, Siri suggestions. There's new flight status updates in iOS 13. Also, 38 more languages in the keyboard. Oh my goodness, there is just so many features, it's amazing. But somehow, with all of that, Apple has still been able to maintain the good battery life on these phones. In addition to that, they also added a new battery feature, if I go over here, battery health. Let's go to battery health. You can see this optimized battery charging, which is going to stop the trickle charging problems that can hurt the capacity while you're charging overnight. So another great addition. I think we got it down. I think we've covered most of what matters here. Now, of course, there's more features. I wasn't going to cover 1000 new features in iOS 13 right here. I think we got down basically all the features that are going to matter to you in this video. So what I want to hear from you is some features that you love. Maybe I missed them drop them down below. What do you guys think about iOS 13? How's the battery life going for you? Did you update? Are you a little bit hesitant to update? Are you just not gonna update your getting iPhone 11? Let's hear what you got to say about this fresh software. Overall, it's a go for me. I think it doesn't hurt battery life. It makes it faster, more refined, and uh, I'm, I'm really digging iOS 13. I think you will love this as well. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Subscribe for more content like this. I will catch you all in the very next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.